that the Vinnie Rossi Leo is not a new product. It came out, I think, in 2015. Uh, and I have had this one since then. I had it in Sydney, and now I have it here in Berlin. And it's, well, you might, we might just call it an amplifier to start with, an integrated amplifier, because that's what it looks like on the front. But if I turn it around, awkwardly, because <laughs> it's heavy, <clears throat> what we see on the back also, I guess, makes it look like what I call a super integrated amplifier. On the back here, we've got a um, 25 watt per channel MOSFET loudspeaker amplifier. We've got variable and line level outputs. We're DAC with a USB, BNC, Toslink. This power lead is to power the Sonore Micro Rendu. And then here we have line level inputs for external things like DACs and phono stages. But there's also a phono stage here, moving magnet and two moving coil inputs, which can all be individually configured. But to see the real magic inside this amplifier, we need to open her up. I take two screws off the back here. This one here just comes off. No screwdriver required. And then the top slides off like this. <clears throat> and the inside of the, the Leo really shows us what she's all about. So the first thing we should look at really are these UltraCat banks. So the, these are what power the motherboard that sits underneath. Um, these run off the grid, so you don't need to get fancy mains cables or power filters or power regenerators for the Leo. So the magic of the Leo is the fact that it's all modular. You don't have to run it as a loudspeaker amplifier or a phono stage. You can decide the components, the modules, that you want to use inside the unit and have powered by the UltraCat banks. This is the MOSFET module that we saw before. This is the output module here driven by a preamp board, which is here. So we have what's called the AVC components here, or we can switch it over with some dip switches um, and have a, a tube output. So different flavors within the same module. Then here, this is the DAC board, the original DAC board. Uh, here we have the line level input board. Here we have the phono stage. And lastly, here we have the headphone module, which outputs at the front, and you can specify, um, just here, you can specify whether you'd like a, a 6 and 6.44 millimeter or balance XLR, up to you. You decide, that's the thing about the Leo, you can decide what you want. You can have all of it or nothing. I mean, I've got all of it here. Um, so today we're gonna to be showing the next step with this Leo, even though it's already like three years old, Today it's going to be up, we're going to upgrade it essentially um, with a new DAC module and a new balanced output module um, so that I can use it in a different way.